Welcome back again YouTube. This is Nick the Kid here with another video. So in this video just wanted to go over a review here of my big uh, lures that I have. And so I've got some big lures up top and then at the bottom here I have a frog, a mouse, and another frog. So for these big lures, um, I've used a few last year. I've used this lure right here, this one, this one, and this green and chartreuse one. So out of all those four that I just pointed out, I have caught um, some largemouth bass with them and also some perch and some bluegill with them as well um i have not caught any catfish or pike with them but i was throwing this guy around this one it's pretty cool and then also this guy is pretty much all chartreuse and it's got the orange belly this one's really cool. I'm excited about throwing that one around next this year for hopefully for some big bass and big pike. Um, so yeah, and then we got this one here is pretty much an all silver. It's got some pink underneath. This one is green. This one is that chartreuse in the green. And then this one's kind of interesting. It's got that like divot there, the opening, and then it's got the little tail in there. So that's kind of cool. And we got this guy. It's the Mystic River. That one's cool. Got the Bill Dance here. This guy, I like that one. And then we've got these like more generic type ones here, these two. And then this one's kind of generic. Um, then here we got our frog. I tried this guy last year for bass and I guess it just wasn't the day for it. Uh, but see, it's like that squishy stuff. So pretty much every time that you bring it, you reel it back into the boat. Um, you gotta kind of squeeze the water out of it so that it floats back on top. Um, but I really am excited about using this one for bass and hopefully for some pike too. And same thing with mouse. Mouse is squishy, so same concept there. And then this frog is hard, a hard body frog. So, um, that one sinks. Uh, but these guys are floaters. These two are floaters. Um, some of these sink and some of them are floaters. Um, not which one, sh entirely sure which ones are floaters or not right now. But I definitely do plan on using all of these guys and just testing the waters and seeing what is out there and what hits for these guys. But definitely these guys here, down here. Definitely want to be, you know, fishing these in, like, tall grass and, like, lily pads and stuff like that. And, like, near, like, stumps and stuff in the water. So that'll be really good for bass and pike. And then up here, too, I'm excited about all of this. Um, I did catch quite a bit of, actually, uh, bluegill and some crappie and perch off of this guy last year. So the smaller... You know, smaller size of lures, you'll you'll catch some of those panfish with these guys. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see what I can get this year with all of these type of lures. And go ahead and check out my other video that I had posted with the spinners and the rooster tail. So for example, here on my rod, I have three rods here. I got a rooster tail there. Got another lure here. This is like a minnow lure. I got this is this was my very 
first lure as a kid. I bought that when I was like nine. And then I have a silver spinner there. So I'm excited to try all this stuff out and got a bunch of other stuff. This is another goodie that I got myself, the spinner bait. Apparently this is really good for panfish and really good for bass. So I'm excited to try that. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down below. I do have a inflatable kayak that I plan to take out this season for 2022 and do a lot of fishing videos. So please stay tuned for that and hit the notification bell. So that way you can be notified when I do upload fishing videos. So out of all of what you have here, if you like what you see, leave them in the comments down below. Maybe one of you guys might have one of these, so I'll just kind of go a little bit closer specs on these guys so you could see the detail on these guys. And uh, let me know if any of you guys actually have any of these lures. I'd be interested to know. And just let me know what uh, what works best for you guys, what you guys like throwing out there on the water. So those are all those. I don't know if I'm even going to be buying any more of these this year because I've got quite a bit of an array of them with different sizes and colors and such. So I think that I have a really good variety here actually that'll hold me over for this season. And then I also got jig heads in there so i do plan on doing some jigging too and also with the spinners uh one thing i didn't mention in my other video was that with like rooster tails and spinners and stuff i heard that you can just jig them and then that way like the blade part will just like glide up and down like this and flash up and down in the water so like if you're like ice fishing i've seen people ice fish with rooster tails and be very successful with that so um i think that's something i definitely want to try out this year as well on my kayak and see how that works for me so if this video was fun let me know and please make sure to subscribe to help out my channel thank you guys for watching